NBA channel than see Allen Iverson in real life and to see Chauncey Billups in real life. And a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys are are Hall of Fame type players. Jason Williams, you mean to tell me you wouldn't pay to go see Jason Williams? Because you know a lot of these cats, you know, we, we joke and we kid about how these guys are going to be getting hurt or are, are going to uh, uh, be getting hurt. But you you do know that a lot of these guys still play. They still you know, go out there and they, 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 they shoot around a little bit. So, Jason Williams, white chocolate? I pay to see that. I pay to see that. Jam from Snellville, the quality of play is not going to be good either. Jam from Snellville, you're really poo-pooing on this idea, bruh. <laughs> from Sensational, he says, competing against WNBA in baseball. So it will work. I never even thought about that. That's right. You're competing against the WNBA. And now I wonder in the story that I read from, they didn't say that they had a TV deal or anything like that. But if I were BET or if I were TV1, I would give them a TV deal. And I'm sure like a lot of these channels, these uh, these men type channels uh, would, would love to, to have that product. And one had a little TV deal for a minute. Yeah, I think it would work. I think it would work. You got to make it real cool. Sidney Jackson, I saw Jason Williams at 41, still serving fools. Many of these dudes can still pick up and play well. They're going to have to stretch very, very well. They got to spend a lot of money on trainers. They're going to have to uh, invest in some very good trainers for each of these eight teams because stretching – is going to be so, so important before these games. Right. Like, if I stretch properly, I can go out there and do a lot of things, but the minute that I don't stretch and I try to go out there and do something knee-jerk, you know, athletic-related, then I always pull something, okay? So, yeah, they got to get they got to get trainers out there and these guys, and I'm sure they will. I mean, these are smart guys. Uh, these are businessmen. Ice Cube is a businessman. He's got to understand, and these players understand their bodies. They know that they got to get out there, man. They got to warm up very well. They got to stretch. It looks like they're only going to be playing on weekends, so they're going to have a whole week to recover. You know, it's not like they in the NBA and playing two games in three game three days or or every once in a while a back to back. No. So I, I like the way this is set up, man. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Quickly. One last story before we get out of here, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Um, congratulations are in order um, for Jim Harbaugh. Why would you say Jim Harbaugh, uh, congratulations are in order? Jim Harbaugh and his wife just welcomed their seventh child. <laughs> he must be Mormon. Or Catholic or one of them. And actually, I misspoke. This is Jim Harbaugh's seventh child. He has four with his wife, okay? Um, in a tweet that he sent out, he says, Arriving early, weighing in at 4 pounds, 13 ounces, with an 18-inch wingspan, our newest Wolverine teammate, John Harbaugh. Precious God is good. Uh, it's Harbaugh's seventh child, once again. Four are with his wife, Sarah. One of his children, Jay, is a tight end special teams coach for the Wolverines with another student at Michigan. So this man got kids out of college and having baby children. He is the modern-day white version of Sean Kemp. Congratulations, Jim Harbaugh. Wow, he still got it. Still got it. I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Jim Harbaugh. I like Jim Harbaugh, man. He's funny to me. He's funny to me. He's uh, an interesting guy. And not only that, he's a fantastic coach. I mean, a fantastic coach. Fell short the last uh, two years, his first two years at Michigan. But a fantastic coach. And you got to expect if he stays uh, he stays around there, they're definitely going to win a championship uh, in the very near future. From um, He said, Redland Kurt, let's just hope Monica handles the investment dollars in the in the Stewart household, this will flop, Doug. Wow. I, I disagree. 
And I don't know about the business end as far as if it was a flop or not, which you would determine is, makes it a success or not. But I think that they're going to sell tickets. It's as simple as that. I think that the idea, the novelty of it and the, and the things that they're talking about doing with it, I think it works. You know, it, once again, they get a TV deal or whatever, man. They get some nice venues. They come to Atlanta, and I don't know where to go. Maybe they come to Atlanta, and they, you know, have a game at that Gwinnett Center. Uh, which is kind of like a very small – they play like uh, minor league hockey there and whatever in Gwinnett, which is a little town outside of uh, Atlanta. Maybe they play in those type venues. Maybe they play in college venues. I don't know. Um, But I like the idea. I like the idea. From um, John from Snellville, I love the NBA game. I can watch games from 70s on up. Oh, I do too. When there's nothing else on – I watch a game, like if, especially if it's the Lakers from the late 80s or something like that. I always like to watch it and see how different things were back then to where they are now, the way the game was played, the way they dress, the people in the stands. I mean, it's, that's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. But a lot of times, man, I'll see games on NBA TV and, like, uh, I don't want to watch that. I saw that when it happened, you know, and I'm watching something new and more whatever. I don't watch NBA TV like that. I like NBA TV, but – I don't know, I'm not a fan of NBA TV like that. From Sidney Jackson or from, uh, what do we got here? From uh, ooh, from Jay Fish to Microwave. He says, Mike Bibby looked like mini me in the face. <laughs> uh, from Sensational Boy, knees look like cottage cheese on the inside. From uh, Truck D, I know I feel you, just don't put no money on it. Hush Fish, I used the Bibby so bad when I was younger. Thorny Switch, I used to like, oh, she says she used to like Mike Bibby a lot when she was younger. So Mike Bibby paid for, played for the Atlanta Hawks for many years, and uh, Thorny was probably a little young lady, and she liked her, all that light skinnedness and all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, from uh, KC, my coworker's daughter babysits for the Harbaugh's and says that in the Christmas card, all the family was wearing Christmas sweaters. But Jim had on a Michigan sweater, got a recruit. I love it. I love that story. <laughs> DJ Dollars and Cents, that's why he wears khakis. Don't hurt a sperm count. <laughs> that. That's that's funny. Let me look up how old Jim Harbaugh is. Didn't have it in that story. I'm going to guess Jim Harbaugh is before I even look. I'm going to guess that he's 56 years old. Let me see. Jim Harbaugh is 53. All right. So he's a little bit younger than I even thought. So he's 53 years old and just had his seventh kid. Yes, sir. Uh, praise God for Viagra's. Yes, sir. So says Jim Harbaugh, not me. I'm good. Low country, seafood. Um, From Uncle Mike, that's going to be a ghetto-ish pretty soon. That baby is going to be younger than our nieces and nephews. Exactly. I got that uh, that situation kind of. Not, it's not quite that. My Uncle Lenny, my Uncle Lenny um, is, so I'm 47, so my Uncle Lenny is probably like 51. He's like four years older than me. And so my grandparents had him when he was, uh, when they were like well into their 50s. And it it just happened. I mean, that's how they did it. That's how them stewards rolled, you know. (laughs) Granddaddy Isaac, he was a pastor. Uh, I always tell the story, he was a pastor, he was a preacher, and he was a a um a principal at a school. He he liked kids. He had a lot of damn kids. Yes, sir. Even when he was old. From Gilliard Rose Finest, he says mango water is all the Viagra you need. Mango water, huh? Oh, go ahead and get you some mango water. I never heard that before. From Sensational, I was thinking to D Bell, is she talking about herself all? From DJ Dollars and Cinch, Doug, you wouldn't go old school hip hop concert. Why would you pay to see some geezers playing three by three? A lot of y'all disagree with me. A lot of y'all think that's not going to work. And once again, I don't know the degree 
in which it has to work for you to say, yeah, it worked. Uh, I think that I think the investment, first of all, the fact that these players are owner investors is smart as hell. Like Ice Cube is really not paying, you know, salaries. He doesn't really have any overhead. I mean, think about it. There's no overhead to this. You know, these these facilities is very minimal to get these facilities in re- in regard and and in, uh, in, uh, in contrast to the amount that they're going to charge for tickets. Like, how much do you think they charge for a ticket to this type of thing? To see Allen Iverson and to see Jermaine O'Neal, perennial All Star basketball players. You know, how much would you pay? I pay twenty five dollars. I wouldn't have a problem with that. To see Allen Iverson once again. This is kind of like an up close and personal type thing. I think y'all poop on this too fast. Yeah. Um. What else do we got in here from uh, Sensation? It's pretty, or it's probably more than just a game, a party, barbecue, cookout, stuff like that. Right. I mean, if you're talking about the basketball stuff, the three on three league, yeah, there's going to be a lot of extracurricular things going on. You know, it's going to have probably like a Harlem Globetrotter type feel, Harlem Globetrotter slash and one slash, you know, uh, semi-pro league slash NBA feel because you got NBA players and not just like the 13th man on the bench from an NBA team. You got Allen Iverson types. You got Chauncey Billup types. Yeah, I like it. I absolutely love the idea. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise the nation of thugs. Yes, sir. But, uh, Let's get out of here. I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of bros. Yes, sir. Frank Cole. Hey. Just Oscar Cooper. As usual. Fantastic time with y'all today, man. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Doug Stewart Show. Shouts out to my man, Waterhead Walter, producer to the show. Poe Politicking. Brandon Butler, the consultant. Larry, the benefactor. Thank you very much. Um, and who else we got? Shouts out to all of the Stewies, man. Without you, there would be no me. Thank y'all very much. I really do appreciate it. Shouts out to Dwayne Vassan, Gerald Oliveri, the engineers to the show. Hold on, hold on. Get so. Yeah, thank y'all, man, for tuning into the show all week long. If you're not a member of the Doug Stewart Show, man, a platinum premium member. Make sure you do that. Go to the DougStewartShow.com. Click on the blue link. It takes two or three seconds, man. And safe, secure, and we would appreciate it, man. We would definitely appreciate it. All right, be careful on them streets. We'll do it again starting Monday. Once again, same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel. Let's get ready to watch some football. Peace. See, I know my place, and I stand my ground. my cues in the sky. We gon' hold it down. Frank Cole, Ernest Chess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q. I know we make it wanna. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise a nation of thugs. But, uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of bros. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna. Frank Cole, me, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna I'm always in the queue, but you ain't know I'm resolute to the boot, she don't give me though In that pack over there, that my dog team Before I came out the womb, I had purple dreams Skip toe, that my line name And ate a mule, that my chain game From my yard, to any yard I put that on my life Q's going hard, a whole nation full of bros, do your duty, lift it up, 
Cause ain't about yourself, no. ain't about your kids no. Jail as a unit, yeah. and we gon' run the ship uh. The greatest spread